And now to the increasing number of ways that the sun is powering our future. And we're talking about solar power, but it doesn't just mean those big panels on your roof. There are these innovative solutions that are already being used that could help curb the effects of climate change, and you can wear them. Ginger Z has this week's It's Not Too Late. Hi, I'm Ginger Z, and it's not too late. Today I want to talk about solar energy, and not the kind that we all know a little bit about on the rooftops, but this behind me. That canopy right now is powering this electric vehicle. Solar only makes up 4% of our nation's energy grid, and while that number is expected to quadruple in the next eight years, it's a slow go trying to get folks to embrace those big panels on roofs. But those rooftop panels or acres of solar farms are not the only option. That's why today we're talking about micro solar solutions, off-grid, things that can make power on every surface, like this coat, this bag. Solar patios, driveways, windows, and airplanes. Imagine if every surface on the planet had the dual purpose of creating energy from the sun. It would be game-changing. Solar energy could power 50% of our country in the next three decades, according to the Department of Energy. But that still requires big investments. And these companies argue any way to add more renewable power to the grid only speeds up the transition to a clean energy future. Our goal really is to say, if there's a piece of fabric that's getting hit by the sun, it's an opportunity to generate electricity. In this warehouse in the Dumbo neighborhood of Brooklyn, there's a company that's busy producing a different looking solar panel. Our company's Pavilion. We manufacture solar powered fabric products like tents, awnings, canopies, backpacks, bags. But this is not something that I'm seeing everywhere. But we will soon. We will soon. There's an enormous growth in the off-grid solar industry. What you're doing is saying, I'm going to set up a tent, I'm going to set up solar panels, I'm going to have batteries, I'm going to have AC outlets to charge my equipment, laptops, cell phones, etc. There is a huge growth in that industry, and we also see a big growth in any solar on any surface. Pavilion told us that almost half their business is making tents for government and military which is already helping in conflict zones and natural disasters. Had we had this technology when Hurricane Michael uh, devastated Tyndall Air Force Base, it would have given us the capability to be able to move a lot leaner because one of the biggest and heaviest things that we take with us every time we go out the door is our own fuel. Right down the street here in Brooklyn, Pavilion product is being used on that pergola. We are at a rooftop vineyard called Rooftop Reds. All the solar panels on our pergola uh, structure here, uh, primarily they, they uh, uh, power all the lighting in every row on the railing system up here on the rooftop, just creating the ambiance here, but doing it with renewable energy. But solar fabric is not the only option. There are companies like Ubiquitous Energy that are making windows into solar panels. If you think about the glass buildings that go up here in Manhattan, being able to utilize the entire floor to ceiling window, because some of these are 10 feet, 20 feet bigger. <laughs> exactly. And, and that's really the, the opportunity that we see utilizing the vertical surface of buildings as vertical solar farms, essentially. In a lot of cases, there's much more surface on the vertical part of the building than on the rooftop. That's a big opportunity for energy generation. So if you apply this to a commercial building, you could offset up to 30% of the energy use in that building uh, right on site with the existing windows. Ubiquitous says that rolling out their technology could make a big dent in our emissions. This technology was broadly adopted over the next 30 years. The glass of the buildings all around the world could offset up to 10% of global carbon emissions. And so that kind of just gives you a sense for the scale. You know, the amount of glass that's installed and the amount of energy we could generate if we turn that glass into an energy generating asset. And if every surface on a building could produce up to 30% of our energy, imagine what we could do if we changed our sidewalks and driveways to solar. The Hungarian company Platio is trying to do just that. They've created solar panels made with recycled plastic that work as you walk on top of them. The idea is that you, you can generate energy with solar in solar form, farms or, or on the roof, but there is a much wider range of uh, uh, areas that you, you, can, you can install this product. And, uh, and, and you can bring closer to, to, to micro 
micro usage the, the, the product with micro solution or with solution. These technologies can generate power for all types of buildings, homes to major skyscrapers. And unlike the solar panels on your roof, you don't have to connect these to the power grid. The future is to support the individual energy uh, production and usage as well, which is, which is the, the most efficient uh, way of uh, energy supply on individual level. light level with 5,000 feet. Bertrand Picard has been trying to show off the potential for solar energy for decades. In 2016, he flew around the world in a solar-powered plane. That's more than 26,000 miles without a drop of fuel. Bertrand just wants to swarm the market with solutions to our energy challenges and prove, most importantly, it can be profitable too. It is a little bit like what I like to call the piranha theory. You know, if you are in a river in South America and you have a piranha, these little fishes that comes and bite you, if you have one, it doesn't harm you at all. You don't feel it. But if you have 1,350 piranha coming at once, you are a skeleton in one minute. And this is exactly what I want all these 1,350 solutions to become. You know, each one will grab some waste, will grab some CO2, will grab some inefficiency, will grab some pollution. At the end, you can have a much better world with completely new and modern infrastructures, new modern systems. Using energy from the sun is nothing new. Optimizing it and making sure that everyone has access to it, that's what's gonna help us ensure that it's not too late. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.